Hey everybody, it's Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. Tonight we're going to make something out of this sifter, I think it is. It's got some film right here or, I don't know, just a little metal. Um, and I think it's some kind of a sifter. It's supposed to go like this where grains go through there or something. Um, when I saw it, I saw a skirt. <laughs> so we're going to make a little girl today. Hey Yvonne, it's good to see you. I know that some people are probably going to be watching Lindy and Gerald cooking and that's fine. If you watch later on and you don't see the live button, then you can hashtag replay. Hey Miss Vicki, it's good to see you. Um, I was playing to see if I could paint on this pretty well and it did do pretty good without having to put anything on it. Hey Miss Tony, hey Miss Debbie, it's so good to see you. Hey Miss Terry Cavanaugh. How are you doing? Hey, Miss Janet. So good to see you. Hey, Kim. It's good to see you. Thank you for sprinkling. Hey, Miss Bridget. It's so good to see you. Um, we are going to paint this, I think, because if a little bit of it shows. Hey, Darlene. It's good to see you. Then um, you'll see the pink instead of uh, seeing this rusty color. Hey, Dawn Stone. It's good to see you. Um, if anybody's watching Lindy and Gerald, then you can just watch later on, so it's perfectly okay. Hey, Miss Peggy, it's good to see you. I saw your comment earlier about those skates. Hey, Miss Sue, it's good to see you. Been missing you and good to see you. <laughs> well, um, I don't know why you've missed me, because I was on on Wednesday. Hey, Miss Gloria, it's good to see you. You try hard not to miss me. You're doing great. I am doing well. I'm so glad it's Friday. I didn't get off until four o'clock. Then my friend came over and got something that she bought at the auction. And um, so I had to give that to her. Hey, Miss Robin, watching you the same time on your tablet. Well, that's good. So you get to watch both of us then, Miss Tony. That's good. Hey, Stacy Davis. It's so good to see you. Thank you for coming on here. So... What I did was I took a chippy brush and I want to paint this pink. And so I did a little bit of dabbing on here. And I think that's what I'm going to do. Even though that's not fully coated, I think it looks good. Hey, Kimberlyn, I saw you won some papers from Kathy. Been forever since. I know, it's been a while since you've been here. I'm so glad that you're here, Kimberlyn. Hey, Lorna, so good to see you. So this is kind of a bubblegum pink. It's called Pink Parfait from Apple Barrel. Yes, happy Friday, Miss Patty, for sure. Um, this is kind of, it just reminds me of bubblegum pink. And that's what I want to do because I had bought at an estate sale um, this. And I thought that it was fabric, y'all, but it, it's actually like napkins or whatever. <laughs> Papers, not Lakers. <laughs> yes, I'm glad you won. So, um, anyway, thank you for painting the page. I appreciate that, Miss Vicky. Um, so, I got a bunch of these, and I thought that I had a whole big old thing of material that I could cut up and do whatever I wanted to. But when I fold unfolded it and everything, they were these, like several of them. Um, but of course, I'm not going to use them as napkins, but they have little flowers on them. It's really cute, but I like the pink, and this bubblegum pink kind of matches it exactly. Thank you for painting the page, Kimberly, and I appreciate that. So I'm just going to take this, and we're going to dab it on with this paintbrush right here that I got from Dollar Tree, and we're just going to coat this in case we see in between that. Hey, Sheila, it's so good to see you. Hey, Miss Janet. It's good to see you. So, this is taking the paint pretty well. I have this where I had done it earlier. And pretty bandanas. Are they bandanas? Hmm. Maybe they are bandanas. I thought maybe they were napkins. I don't know what they are, but if they're bandanas, pretty. But I have a lot of them. And I also had a bunch of material um, that's green and checkered. And they're all just long pieces like this, about, I don't know, eight or nine inches. 
So um, that's not gonna work because I wanna cover this to make it look like, see how much of it I have? But it's not enough to do anything with. Thank you, Kimberlyn. I got it at Beware Sportswear. And if you buy something, um, you can get 15% off with Hummingbird Paintery as your code. So use that if you decide to get you some t-shirts at Beware Sportswear. Because, um, and make sure that you do it when you want to buy several. Because you get 15% off just one time. So make sure that you do that. So we're going to paint this whole thing. I'm, I'm going to paint the screen as well in case you see it. Um, you'll see what I'm going to do. But I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to paint the whole thing. But this is a screen here. I said something else a while ago, but I meant screen. Hey there, how are you doing? Hey Christy. Hey Phyllis. Hey Miss Rose. So good to see you. So thank y'all for being here. And I'm just gonna tap this. It's kind of damaged a little bit. You can kind of tell. Um, it's not torn or anything, so I'm gonna use it. I'm doing good, Miss Rose. I'm just thankful it's Friday. I thought it would never get here. I don't know about y'all. So this is taking quite a bit right here just to do this. So I'm just gonna do that with it. And that way it's all done. And then I'm just gonna keep going and using this. I'm gonna get some more on my paper over here. Thank you for sprinkling. Yeah, if it's working, right? And I was getting my stuff together before I came on here. And I got all my paint ready and everything. This is an old, I think, sifter of some kind. I don't know exactly. But we're gonna go around this, get as much of it as we can covered. And this is just easy to dab this on with it. Miss Vicki, my mother is doing fine. Yeah, I guess I need to give an update, right? I went to see her yesterday and she's fine. Um, I asked her if I should be coming over there more often to check her out. She said that I didn't have to, but um, I may do that. It's just she's like 25 minutes away from my house, and so I don't go over there too often because that's not the area of town that I go in the most. Thank you, Miss Rose, for painting the page. I appreciate that. And um, But she answered me appropriately. She does not have dementia. So they were correct, but she still was doing weird stuff. So I told her to stay out of the neighbor's yard, um, that they could call the police on her. She didn't want the police to come out there, and she said, no, I don't. Hey, Miss Brenda, it's good to see you. I mean, who would want the police, right? <laughs> yes, I got good news. I mean, thank goodness. But I probably need to go see her more than I do. I just hate going over there. She's She smokes. There's no place for me to sit. She has one spot on the couch that she sits. And she was eating when I got there. So she's doing okay. So I'm thankful for that. It's good to see you, Miss Brenda. I appreciate you being here. And anybody else that's on here, I appreciate you. All right, so I'm getting there. We're almost done trying to get to the end here. There is a hole up here. I think it's like upside down, but when I saw it, it looked like a skirt. Hey, Miss Elizabeth. How are you doing, Miss Deaver? It's good to see you. I'm gonna kind of put my hand up in here so I can get all the way at the bottom. We just don't want any of the, the brown or whatever this is, rusty color to show in here. It's okay, Miss Rose, if you need to leave for a second. From Virginia. Do you live very far from uh, Justin? He lives in Virginia, I think. Isn't it Virginia? 
All right, so I'm just tapping all this on here. It's just easier this way instead of trying to paint it. And I don't care if it's perfect because we're going to put something on top of it. All right, let me try to... I'm going to set it down. Let me just get my arm out here. And then I'm just going to kind of go right in where all the brown is, where it connects there at the edge. So I'm going to cover that up just a little bit. Because I can see the metal there. All right. There. Now let's dry it a little bit. I'm going to put this in some water so it can be soaking. Justin lives in Roanoke. That's right. He's going to be at our sparkle event in a little less than two weeks. And I can't wait to meet him. He's a good person. And he's one of the Sparkle Six, so I'm going to get to meet him there. I'm glad for that. Has anybody ever met Justin? Hey, Susan. It's good to see you. You wish you were able to go? You can do a virtual ticket for like $79. I don't know if you can uh, afford that or not, but I saw they were doing that. The Paint Pixie Lady is going to be there. Yes, we're going to drive, Miss Phyllis. All four of us are going to drive. We're going to me and Elizabeth and Lindy and um, Miss Debbie are all going. We're going to have a great time. Yes, we are, Miss Kimberlyn. <laughs> You'd love to, to meet Justin. He's really sweet, isn't he? So I'm going to get some more of this because I need to paint this piece, okay? This is just one of those little things that I got um, that's a part of a spindle or whatever. Um, and I'm going to use that. You haven't been on sitting with your husband. I'm so sorry, Miss Susan. I didn't know that. Was he on hospice or something? I'm so sorry to hear that. It breaks my heart. How long were you married? That's a sad thing. Started to work on the black and orange, too. Halloween wreath you made today. Orange tool. Oh, okay. That's cool. Lord, what a crew. Been laughing all the way there. Oh, I know. We are going to be laughing. You're so right. I do believe we're not all going to drive together. Two of us are going to drive in a car, and the other two are going to drive in the other car. And the reason why he was on hospice. Oh, you were together 48 years. That's, that's a long time, but you have a lot of memories, don't you, Miss Susan? I'm so sorry for you. I really am. I hope he didn't suffer. Yeah, so maybe manage it this year. Well, I hope you can get back to where you can, um, Miss Kimberlyn. If that's what you want to do, going back to work. Yeah, but we're taking two vehicles because we figure we may buy something. I don't know. Oh, we are going to go a couple of hours into the city or whatever. Yes, ma'am, he did suffer. I'm sorry that he suffered. But now he's with Jesus, right? And um, he's back home where he belongs. I 
I have so many of these spindles and stuff, but I want to go back to Culpepper's. This one's got a blemish in it. See how it's kind of got a little divot out? It's okay, Miss Rose. You um, have a good evening, and you can watch anytime. Yeah, so he's not suffering anymore, Miss Susan. He's in a better place. Especially the way the world is now. Now, I'm not going to do the very bottom of this because that's just wasteful. Oh, yeah, we're going to go do some shopping for a couple of hours anyway. I know we will. Hopefully, I did ask somebody that lived in that area. Hey, Manny. If um, they knew where the good junk spots were. Because that's what I want to know. Hey, Manny, are you going to the Sparkle event? Are you going to um, the other event? I don't know if it's the same time or not. Let Alright. Let's see here. I want to make sure we get a good coat on here. This is going to be the top of her dress. That's a long time, 22 years. What happened? I mean, did he have cancer or another disease or process, Miss Susan? All right, so this is going to go on top of here, just like this, okay? I've got the major part of it to the bottom because I want it to cover up the hole pretty much. So let me put this in here. Let me dry it some. And this is pretty much dry. You don't have to worry about covering this with anything. It's going to be covered up for the most part. So it doesn't matter. We just don't want it to be totally brown or whatever color that is, the rust color. Rusty metal color. Okay. So because I don't like to drill and stuff like that on here, then I went ahead and I drilled a hole from here to here, and I want this portion that has that little divot on it to be in the back. Oh, that was sweet of her to say. Yeah, Kimberlyn's saying some sweet things there, that's for sure. Um, and she's right, Miss Susan. All right. So... The first thing, I don't want to glue anything just yet, because what we're going to do, this is going to be the dress top, you know, just like her torso. This is going to be the bottom skirt. And what I did was, this goes over it pretty good. It's a pretty shade of pink. It's like bubblegum pink, right? So I'm just going to put this on here. It is square, and this is going to be rounded. But we're going to do it with different layers. So I'm going to look at this and see basically where it needs to be. Okay? Just so it's kind of in the middle there. Hey, Linda Tanner. How are you doing? So I'm going to just set this on top of here. Let me move it back so y'all can see better. Then I'm going to take another one. And they're all just a little bit a shade different because some of them looks like they were washed more. This one's washed more than this one is. This must be newer. Um, and then we're going to do it the opposite. <laughs> I say we're going to do it the opposite. <laughs> all right. So we want to cover it up, but I'm going to let it kind of flow out to the side. I don't know if I want three or just two. We're going to kind of do it just like this, okay? And we can put some ribbon on there if we want to. I don't know if I've got my pink ribbon over there. Let me see if I can do one more, and we'll just do it this way. I don't want it exactly. There we go. So now, it's kind of on here, and you don't see very much. You see a little bit, like right in here is a little bit of pink. 
Hey, Tommy Sue. <laughs> You're ready for some outstanding crafting. Well, I hope that I do that. <laughs> hope I'm doing justice here. All right, I'm going to try to get it as even as I can so you don't see very much of the metal part, but you're going to see just the dress and the pink, okay? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use three of them, I think. We're going to glue them down, and then we'll put this on top, and you're not going to be able to see it so much. See, but that's going to be the top of her dress. Hey, Tommy Sue. All right. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this off. We're going to put some glue on here. And I've got the um, Gorilla Glue. It's kind of like the other glue that I've been using, but I just haven't pulled my drawer all the way out. And then we're going to put some hot glue on it as well. But I just want it to stay on each side. So I'm just going to put a little bit there. And then we're going to do hot glue. around each corner even though there's no corners it's really just rounded right and then I want it to be straight we're gonna make it taut right here hey Laurel how are you doing I'm gonna put some more glue gel on here and as well as the hot glue it may only need hot glue we really don't have to put that glue gel stuff but i'm gonna put a little bit anyway i'm not gonna put it on the too much on it where you can see it once we get to this area And then I'm just going to do some kind of in the middle. I'm not going to do any of the other glue. I'm just going to put this in the middle. Because this is going to be on top of it. Let's see. We're just going to kind of do it like that. And then we're going to set this on top. And I'm just going to do glue right in here and we're just gonna set it on top of here you got your pig I'm so glad all right so we want this to be the front the holes are right here for the arms and we're gonna cut one of these because we need arms I'm glad you got that all right so I've still got several of these right here and I'm just going to set them because we can do another project at a different time. But we're going to cut this and make arms. I've got two little balls. They do not have holes all the way through. They only have the holes right here. And then I took one of these that I got at Dollar Tree. And I pulled out the metal. Hey, River Hill Crafts. Thank you for coming on. Hey, Miss June. All right, so I just took this out. It had like a little piece on the end of it that this was holding on to, and I just took that off because all I want is the metal part. And what we're going to do is just take this. This goes through there just right. It did have a little paint on it because I painted in the hole. But this is the back right here where I'm at. So I want the arms to go kind of like this, okay? So, and this is going to be at the bottom. But I think I'm going to wait just a minute before we attach it. And I want to try to measure. I'm going to turn it around so you're going to see the back of it, okay? Which is the same as what you're looking at right now. It's just that this is the little, I don't know, damaged part. So I'm using that for the back. Hey, Margaret, how are you doing? All right, so I'm going to cut this with my good fabric scissors. We're just going to kind of make it just like I always do the arms. We're going to do it about two to three inches. And I'm going to do it a little bit longer than the actual 
I'm gonna do all the way, I'm just gonna do it all the way down and we'll cut it in half. So it's about two and a half, three inches long. This does have a hem on that side. You can see where I cut this. It's not perfect and it's actually a little bit bigger on this end, but it's not too bad, right? So I'm, I'm doing well, Miss Margaret. Thank you for asking. So I'm gonna do this in half. That way they're even. And then I'm gonna cut this in the middle. Okay, and that way we have two pieces. Ooh, Chinese cashew chicken. That sounds good. All right, so I can tell that we are not going to need this much because the arms are only this little, okay? They're not going to be big arms. So we're probably going to need to cut, I don't know, we're going to do a little bit more than the arm, but we don't need this length. So I'm going to take that off and we're going to make it this size. Hey, Alice. That sounds good. All right, so what I'm going to do is just use my um, hot glue, and we're just going to put a line of glue right there, and I need to wipe this off because it's got a fuzz on it, and put it back on my, my thing here. Now I'm going to flip this over and just go on top of the other one. And this will be the bottom part. You can flip it over, but I just made it flat there, okay? I just put it right on top of the other one. And that way it'll slip through. And we'll just have this portion at the bottom. Thank you for painting the page, Miss Alice. Shrimp scampi sounds good, too. How yummy. All right. So let me look at this. We're just going to poke this up in here. We're going to make her have a bunch of crinkled material right there, okay? And we're going to put the ball on there. And I'm probably just going to put some little rosy cheeks, even though this isn't cheeks, but little rosy hands right there. So I'm going to leave this. We're just going to push this up in here and glue it a little bit. And I'm going to poke this right here, but we want to put some glue on this part right at the ball. So it'll go on the end of it, okay? So we're going to just put some there. And I'm going to take this and we're just going to stick this in here. And we're going to do it this way. I want to move this to the bottom. Like the fabric's kind of there kind of make it go out a little bit this way there we go and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side i'm going to make it flat hey kathy lawson thank you for coming on and then i'm going to do the same thing right here one row of the glue and i just flipped it over and made it flat, but you can roll it if you want to to kind of make it a rounded appearance, but I didn't do that. And I'm pushing it down so it'll go into the material, but this way you can have a little hole right here to put that in. Hey, Miss Linda. And I put in the piece that has the edging on it on the outside where the hand's going to go. Hey, Miss Jenny Wills. It's good to see you. So I'm going to take this and we're just going to push it on here. You put the bottom portion that you've glued on the bottom. And then we're going to put some more glue on here, which I'm going to do it the opposite way and put it on here. And then we're going to put this on top of it. This will make our hands. And then you want this to kind of go over it like it's the sleeve there. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue right in here, but you're not going to see this very much. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, see how the arm is right here? We're going to glue a little bit behind here and on the other side as well. Hey, Miss Jenny. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming on. Hey, Miss Nancy. Now, I'm just going to take this and put some right here at the hole. 
This has got a big old thing of junk on the end of it. Gross. All right, so let me try to just squeeze this up under here because that's what we want to do to make our sleeve. And that way it'll stay, but you're going to have it covered up a little bit. Hey, Lenora, it's good to see you. Thank you for coming on. I appreciate that. And then we're going to do the same thing right here. We're just going to make it so it looks like it's coming out of her shirt, her pink shirt here. All right, so I've got it glued, and I just held it for a second. All right, then we're going to get some... Uh, this, I've got this, and I've got different doilies and all of that, so I want to just see what I like before I put the head on. We got all that. Hey, Lee, how are you doing, girl? And I don't know if I want to do this one. What do y'all think? Let me look. All right, this is one of them. And it's shaped different, but I've got two of them. We can do it the opposite way, and that way it's made more like a star. So we can do this, or we can do this, or we can do this one. What do y'all think? Or we can take this, which is kind of scalloped here, but you see this portion is all torn because it's old. And we can do it right at the edge and just leave this portion at the top, but go all the way around because there's enough. The first one, these together, number two, Miss Pat said, gosh, I can't remember what two was. Two was this one. So we got one for the first one and, and one for the second one. What do y'all think? Whoever gets the next one will figure it out. Star ones? Yes. Number two is what Yvonne said. You like the first one. All right, let me see here. Hey, Angela. Okay, this is the one that that is the last one. And number two, we're about neck and neck. Number one is what Robin said. But it's going to sit over everything. Now, the head is going to go on top of that. I haven't painted anything. Miss Janet said four. Miss June... There's a lot of twos, and then there's a couple of fours. There's a lot of twos. I kind of like the round one, too. Eh, I like this one, sort of, because it doesn't cover up too much. Just one. Yeah. All right. I think we're going to do this, and then this is going to sit on this, okay? Miss Lorna said two, and Miss Robin said one. Either way, it'll be lovely. <laughs> but do whichever one I want, right? Hey, Elizabeth Harriman. All right, I think I'm going to do this one just because I'm going to put this little thing here, and it kind of has a little flower on top, so it's going to kind of hold the head a little bit better, so I think this one's okay. So we're just going to kind of do it this way. Let me make sure I got it going the right way. Now, this is the front right here, and... I want to turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. I want it to look just right. I want the flower to be exactly in the middle. <laughs> you do you. I'm in control. I don't know. I like to hear y'all's opinion, you know? So I'm just going to take this and we're just going to put some of this right on top of here. Because this doesn't take very much. Thank goodness because i got to get another piece. All right, we're just going to put it right here and hold it down a little bit. Let me get another glue stick. All right, now we got more glue. All right, so this is what she looks like so far. 
Now I'm gonna have to glue it a little more in the back because I want it to sit right. There we go. So that's the back. So here we go. All right. So we're gonna paint. We've got the dress, we've got the torso and her arms done. And we're going to paint the head, okay? So I've gotta get some peachy color and some white together. You like the dress? Hey Rosa, it's good to see you. Thank you for coming on. So we're gonna put some of this sun-kissed peach on here and some white, okay? Because I want it a little bit lighter And then I'm going to put a little white over here to the side because I'm going to need it in a minute. And let's see here. I'm just going to use this and mix it because it'll be easier to mix. So I want it light peach, just like skin. And I'm just going to take most of that out and just stick it in this water right here. It's so cute. Thank you, Sue. All right, so I'm gonna just paint this except for where the face is, which I already paint, I already drew it on there, okay? So I'm just gonna hold on to that in my hand and I'm just gonna do this part easily, quickly, and we'll cover it with the peach. Getting the pink out of it. We're just gonna do it this way and this will do quick and then we're gonna do it really slower on the face because I painted it or I drew it on there. I didn't paint it on there yet, but we're gonna, I'm gonna get it all the way to here. Do a little bit right in here. And we'll dry part of it and then we'll finish it up. We don't have to do too much on the back because we're gonna have hair on there. And when somebody said a bandana, I thought of something to do. <laughs> so we're going to see if that works, but I do want hair. And I got hair, I do believe, from Miss Peggy. And we're going to use that red hair. I think red hair with this pink will look cute, don't you? All right, let me see here. We're going to, let me get this one last little bit. And then I'm going to dry this. All right. Now this is a ball from, it's an ornament in the Christmas section. They're cheaper there. And it's a paper mache one from Hobby Lobby, which I have to go to tomorrow. Because I need to get, it's hot because I need to get something but you wait until you see the hair it's it's reddish hair and it's cute I've got one package of it And I don't know where she got the hair. She gave me two other hairs because I was going to ask y'all if y'all wanted brown. But I do like the red. There's brown too, like this. She gave me two packs of that. And I think those came from Hobby Lobby. But the other one, the red, I don't know where she got it, Miss Pat. It is really hot. Really hot. Alright, so we're going to go around the eyes a little bit. I'm going to cover as much as I can with the big one. And then we're going to go from there. This looks funny right now. But I want to get it as close as I can. And then we'll cover the rest of it. She looks funny, doesn't she? She looks like a ghost or something. 
Now, I did the, where the ornament was hanging here. I took that off. Hey, Robin Truman. Thank you for coming on. But I took that portion off so you would want to get it off and you won't use it for an ornament if you decide to do it this way or use this or do this or whatever you want to do. But I just want to get most of this on here. Make sure there's no streaks. And then we'll paint this. We'll just keep going. We might need to do two coats. Hey, Ann, Stefan, it's good to see you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sprinkling, Miss Robin. And thank y'all for the hearts and everything. That helps with the engagement. You know how Facebook is. They want to have their engagement on there. I don't... Everybody's got to say something all the time. I just appreciate you being here. Hey, Scylla. How are you doing? All right, so let me see here. Looks so funny to me. Look at there. <laughs> Looks like a bear, like a panda. Hey, Miss Vicky Pop. How are you doing? All right, so we're going to, I'm going to hold this a little bit like this. Because the back is dry. I probably should have painted it and then done the, the drawing on there, but I didn't do that. So right now, this is what she looks like. i got to dry a little bit more at the bottom. Hey there, Miss Barbara. It's good to see you. This is a little bit wet. Woo, it's hot. As far as I know, Elizabeth's still going to go with me in the morning to an estate sale. She's kind of leery about going to estate sales. I'm glad you caught me, Miss Barbara. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around this eye. And we'll leave the eye the way it is. just easier for me. We might need two coats, but I think one may be enough, but we'll see. We have to do two coats around the eyes because I don't want it to look different. Yes, the weekend's finally here. Thank goodness. I didn't think I was going to make it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think I'm just going to paint this. Right in here. Alright, so let me do this. Uh, must have done two coats anyway. Hey, Carrie. It's good to see you. Thank you for coming on. Okay. Now, the first thing that I want to do... All right. So that's sort of her eyes right there. We're going to go around it with some brown. I do like the brown oxide for around the eyes and the face a little bit. It's a little bit better shade. I've got two that I use. I use brown oxide and then I use, what's the other one? Um, there's a different one. 
chestnut something, but I don't like it as much. It's got a different tone. So what we're going to do is go around, which I need to get a little more water on here. We're going to go around the edge of the eye. And this one just is a better highlighter than the other one. It looks more orange, and this one looks more brown, so it's a little bit better. I need to get a little more water. It's wanting to dry out, and you've got to have it smooth. I'm going to show it to you as soon as I get it around the eye there. Give me just a minute. Now I'm just highlighting the eye right now. It doesn't look all that great. But I just kind of want to smear the color on just a bit. Okay. So that's the eye right there. It doesn't look all that good. Still looking like a ghost or something, right? <laughs> it's FaceTime. You're funny. So I'm just kind of going around it. And of course, we'll fix any flaws that we mess up. Because that's easy to do. Got one side over here that's got to do. It'll look a lot better once we get the black on there. Probably should have done it first. Get a little more on this side. Just want it to be darker. All right. So see, it looks funny, <laughs> but it's gonna look better. All right, we're gonna use, I'm gonna try to find the color, let's see. That kind of fleshy color, but here it is. The coral. That's what I want for the nose, is the coral color. So we're just going to put a little bit on there. Use a small brush. We're going to do the nose. Sort of pink, sort of blush color, if you will. All right. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the brown and kind of go on the edge. Give me just a second. I'm trying to breathe or not breathe. And I'm just doing it on the top, okay? So there's her little nose. Hey there, Miss Stephanie. Thank you for coming on here. All right, so I'm gonna take some black, if I can find it. So good to see you. You crack me up, girl. All the time. I bought you something today. <laughs> Because I just had to. You always... Thank you. Hey, Miss Janice. Alright, I'm trying to get the, the booger out of the middle of that so it'll come out. It's going to be cute. It will be. It looks funny now. It's like a ghost. <laughs> but it's not. Good night, Miss Vicky. If you have to go, hey Jenny, saying hello to Stephanie. 
Let me get some of this paint off of here. I might need it in a minute. You had to step away for a minute, Campbellin. That's okay. Anybody that needs to step away, you can do that and come back anytime. I'm so happy you're here. All right, so it still looks funny, okay? I'm going to take a little bit of white, and I'm going to put over the nose. Just a little bit right there. And then we're going to take the black. Now, I got a new brush, okay? This is a brand new one, so it's not got any boo-boos on it in uh, bad areas. So, we're going to go right, except i got to put it in the paint a little better. You want to roll your paintbrush around so you can have a nice pointed area. The wooden balls, oh, this is from Hobby Lobby. It was an ornament. See where that little hole is? I just took it out. Hey, Miss Betty. All right, so we're going right at the edge of the brown with the black. Okay, see how I'm doing that? We're just going to go around like I always do my eyes. We're going to take it right here and just keep going. You want to make a little mountain just in, right there. You wasn't laughing at her. You think she's going to be adorable. I'm laughing at my silly self. Hey, Deb's new again. All right, so we're doing the edge with a thin brush. And it will last a lot longer if you do put um, enough on here. And you put a little bit of water, it'll thin it out enough that it does a little better. Hey, Miss Marla, thank you for being here. I'm just doing the eyes right now. All right, so there are two eyes. Now I'm going to do the bottom of it. We're going to do a little bit. Actually, I don't think I'm going to do the bottom. I'm just going to. Take this and go right above the brown on the nose. Just like that. Okay. We're going to take brown to do the mouth. I don't want it to be very severe. So I always use brown if I don't want it to be black. It may need a little black, but we're just going to see. And if it's too dry, then just put some water on there. So she's got a smirk on her face. And a little chin, a little bit of a hmm under there. You want to learn how to make dolls? Me too. For sure. And I think probably I'm going to use turquoise color. This is Key West, but that's kind of what the green looks like. So I'm going to use that as her eye color. Ooh, that one didn't do good. I got to shake it up better. Hey, Rebecca, it's good to see you. Make sure you shake this. For whatever reason, it kind of um, dissipates in there, so you got to shake it pretty good. Hey, Michelle Varela, it's good to see you. All right. We're going to take this, and I've already drawn where it should be. So we're just going to take a little bit of paint and go in between there.
hold your breath so you can do it just right. You gotta have a steady hand, but if you mess up, that's okay. We're gonna do this. Just wanting her to match her dress a little bit. I'm gonna show you this as soon as I finish this one eye. All right, so here's the green. It's pretty, pretty green. And we're gonna put the black on and the white and that's really gonna show it up. Right now it looks a little funny. Hey Rosalind, it's good to see you, or Rosalind. So what is this gonna be, Tanya? It's a little girl. She is a little girl. You could make her an angel if you want to, but I'm not gonna make her an angel. Here's her eyes. She still looks kinda like a, a um, whatever you call that. Um, snowman. You love her face. It's gonna be cute. It just right now, not so cute. It looks like a snowman. Let me turn the heater off. I left the air conditioner on and when I got home it was so cold. <laughs> it was freezing and I'm like, I'm so cold. I was like, why is it so cold in here? <laughs> and then I realized <laughs> And I left it on. All right, so we're gonna take the black and we're gonna go in here. We're just gonna fill it in. Now I've got the holes here where I was gonna put the white dots, but we'll know where to put those. Doesn't matter. Hey, Wendy, it's good to see you. When you get to the sides here, you gotta really hold your breath. And I'm fixing it so it looks exactly the way it should. Woo! I'll show you when I get finished with this part. I'm literally holding my breath. But then you can just paint in the middle. But the edges are the ones that looks funny. All right. So there's one. And it still looks funny, right? Thank you, Miss Terry, for those stars. And then I'm just going to hold it down here. I'm going to try not to talk. And I'm right-handed, y'all, so it's a whole lot easier if you go from side and then go to the left side, left and right. Hey, Miss Sandra, hey, it makes you relax. I would think it would make you nervous, me painting. All right, once you get all the edges done, you can just color like you would a color book to do the inside of the eye. And then we're going to do the white, okay? So she's coming together. She doesn't look exactly great right now, but she's going to look cute. Hey, Miss Myrna. All right, let's see here. We're going to do white, and I may end up having to get new white. You always want fresh white when you're doing your eyes. And I got a booger in there, so let me try to pull it out. Get the stick and poke it in. All right, so you want fresh white paint, okay? Then you wanna roll your brush in it, just like you do with the rest of it. Now this is where it gets tricky.
Okay, so see where the white is there in between? You've got to be as, as good as you can right in there. You can always go back over it with whatever color that you're going next to if you need to. And I'll show you when I get to the end of this. Let me try to finish this around the green. Because it's coming together, see? I'm trying to make it as straight as I can right there. We're going right up against the brown. A little bit more and then I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to paint that in right there. Okay. So there's the white. Okay. <laughs> And it's going to look better when we get the other side. You've got to hold your breath right up here in the corner. Okay. And we're just going around where the green is. Right in there. And I'm going right where the brown is right there. So kind of did a different bottom on it. Of the eye instead of doing it rounded then you're just trying to pull all of it together so it doesn't have clumps in the eyes let me see I'm gonna show it to you <laughs> so it's getting there we got to fix it a little. Hey there. The Crafty Decorators here, y'all. Thank you for coming on, Miss Sherry. All right. So we're going to get this. We're going to go just a little bit down. We're going to go into the blue just a little bit. Got to make sure we don't have all this. You've got to roll it around in the brush, the brush into the uh, paint. You want to fix all the imperfections. Just like that. And we want to also get the edges See, because it's getting there, still looks like a snowman to me. We're just going to go right on the edge to kind of make the eyes go together right there. Okay, so now we're going to make her look more like a girl, okay? She's going to have lashes. So we're going to take a little water, 
and we want to make sure that we water down the paint just a little bit, but you don't want to do too much. And you're going to still roll this as, as straight as you can into a point. And we're going to start here and just flick it out, but do it very gently, okay? You don't want to push down too much. And we're going to keep going around the eye until you get around here and you're going to flick it downward a little bit. Now I'm barely touching it, but see the eyelashes? We're just going to go a little bit longer so she can look more like a girl. I'm going to do one more right in here, but a smaller amount. If you don't do it long enough, you can go back. All right. So see her little eye? And we've got to do eyebrows too. So we're just going to keep going. And we're going to do the other side the same way, okay? We're just going to go a little bit right there. And you let the brush do its work, okay? So there's some of the lashes, and we're just going to continue on. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Thank you, Miss Robin. I appreciate that. We're going to keep going. I need a little more water. We need to roll it around again. It's going to come to life a little bit better. Okay. And we're going to make some eyebrows, so we're going to take a little bit of water because this is drying up, but I'm going to use the same thing that I used for her mouth. We're going to put some eyebrows on there. Don't forget to share the page. Thank you for saying that. We have to put her hair on and everything else is going to look really cute. So she's coming together. We're going to put some white in the eyes. And that's going to bring it to life even more. You want the fresh white paint. You want to get a little bit on the end of it. See how there's kind of a little ball on the end? You're going to want to do that. You're going to let this just sit on there. See how it just does itself? And then you're going to do it on the other side. At the bottom. That way it's got all the little lights. Little light. And then you want a little tiny one right here. Okay, so she's coming together. Once she gets hair, she's going to really look good. And then I'm going to put a little bit of white down here. 
up underneath her chin a little bit, just on this little part. I want to make sure that we get, I need to do the brown, a little bit of brown right there. All right. All right, and we're going to get some, my trusty blush, remember that, LA Colors from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to just put our finger on there, y'all know I just used that, and then we're going to put some cheeks on here, I just roll it around however big that I want it. You just put it in there and make it as dark as you want. It's just so much easier. And if you want to take some off, you can, because I kind of went a little crazy there. I always put a little bit up at the top, and I put some underneath as well. Now look at her face. Isn't she cute? Hey, Miss B, will you use yarn? It actually is kind of yarn. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to move this out of the way. We don't want to get her face in anything. This is so cute. Okay, so we've got our, got our little dress. Let me get my blush here up and out of the way. All right. So she's going to end up sitting on here. Look how cute. Hey, Miss B. It's good to see you. All right, I'm going to turn it around so I can see it. This is her little dress. <laughs> oh my God. She's so cute. Okay, so let me see how I want her. I want her to look up just a little bit, okay? So we're gonna use, where's my, here's the glue. I want this to be on the bottom because you want it to be adhered pretty good. You want her to lean up just a little bit like this. And I'm gonna put some of this on here on both sides and then put a big bunch of hot glue in the middle. Let me try this, get this little booger off of here. All right, so I just want a bunch in the middle. We're gonna mix it so it's gonna make a real smell, unfortunately. Look at that, let go. Ooh, it smells really, really bad. All right, so let me see. And what I think I want to do, we're just going to hold it for a second because I want it to adhere pretty good, right? <laughs> so she's looking up a little bit. There we go. Now, I may want to use that other one that has the edges on it to kind of go around that. I don't know. Because it kind of covers it up a little bit. So, I kind of like it. Let me see. Or... I don't know, but I want something there because it needs to have something closer. All right, so I'm going to use one of these and some hair. This is the hair that Miss um, Peggy sent me. It looks like yarn, okay? And there's a big bunch of it. Oh, my heavens. Oh, it just gives her something. All right, let's see. It's just kind of a lot of material. It is, I think it's yarn, really. So we're going to see. I'm going to cover it up. Oh, my goodness. She looks so cute with her red hair. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so I want to get some of this down here. It's kind of just in a wad, so I'm just going to have to. Oh, my goodness. She is so cute. All right. So let me try to pull some of it out because it's really kind of just, I don't know. 
hard to, to fix. We want some of it in the back, so we're going to have to pull some. <laughs> Y'all are going to love it. Okay. Let me try to pull some of this together. I'm going to put some hot glue. She's all bald right now, but she's going to look so cute. Yeah, pink ribbon. I might do that, Miss Patty. It needs something right in here so it doesn't look like a ball on top of there. So, um, I'm going to do that. Let me see here. I got to get some of this off of here. I don't burn myself. This just still has a fuzz on the end of it. All right. So let me see. I'm just going to take this and we're going to put some hot glue on top of here. It still has that thing on there. All right. Now I want to just put some more hot glue all over the back of it. And that way I can get all the back covered up. But we're going to cover it up pretty much with something in just a minute. Because y'all gave me the idea. We'll fix the front in just a minute. So I'm just trying to cover up here most of the head. with all of this. All right, so let me see. I'm going to turn her around so I can fix her hair a little bit better. Goodness, she looks so cute though with this. This is the best hair. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wonder if I can braid it. It's like a big lump of hair. I'd have to cut it some. Goodness, how cute. All right, so I want it to kind of go back a little bit. So we're just going to go right in here, and then I'll show it to you. Let me just get this part right here. We want it to go back on her head just a little bit. <laughs> oh, this cracks me up, y'all. All right. We're going to do the same thing over here, just a little bit. Oh my goodness. All right. So we might have to play with the hair a little bit. And I probably will cut it because it's just not going to look exactly right. So we might just cut it some. But it's pretty much holding. Let's see. I'm going to put some glue right in here to kind of hold the side. This side's got more hair on it than this side, but it doesn't, it looks fine though. So let me turn it around. You ready? <laughs> so she looks cute. I think she looks cuter than she does on the video even. All right. So what I thought was, is take one of these and we're going to make it into one of these. <laughs> one of these, but I think that I need it a little bit smaller. Let's see. Well, I might not. Let me see if I can fold it a little bit, make it smaller that way. We don't want to cover her whole head up. Oh my goodness gracious. How cute. Let me, uh, <laughs> y'all wait till you see it with this on there. All right. So we're just going to tie it right here. Okay. Oh my goodness. So cute. Okay. All right. Ready? <laughs> Look at her with that on. Is that not funny? You just love her. Isn't she cute? My goodness. And up close is her pretty little eyes. I love her. I just got to cut her hair a little bit. Her hair is just, let me get some of this gone and I'll fix the back. 
me see. I want it to kind of stick out a little bit. Let me cut just a little more over here. She kind of got a hot mess for some hair. Let me see if I can put this right up underneath here where it's missing some. I just want to put some glue. And this way we can use some of this. I just want it. There we go. Let me cut it all the way straight. Kind of make it all one length. She gonna have a haircut. It's not too bad right there. Okay, let me cut this part because it wants to. I like it to stick out a little bit. Pulling too much, aren't I? Let's see. All right. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. She needs little pearls or something. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Sherry. But she's so cute. We need a little blush on her hands. Let me put that on there. Thank you for saying that. Or yeah, a little black basket of flowers or something. All right, we're just gonna give her a little color right here. There we go. But she's so cute. I love it. So it kind of looks like little pink riding hood since it's not red. Little pink riding hood. <laughs> Thank you. She's so adorable, Miss Robin. Thank you so much. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. I will try to find a, a little thing of flowers or something for her to hold. And it'll look a lot cuter. When she's sitting there, she looks like she's looking up at me. So it really is cute. But I'll make a... a a picture of this and thank you for the hearts. Thank you, Miss Tina, Miss Michelle. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miss Patty. I hope y'all enjoyed this tonight. I enjoyed it. Give her a basket of flowers, definitely. I'm gonna have to find one, like a small basket. Hey, Miss Nancy, thank you for coming on, Miss Liz. Thank you so much. <laughs> I make magic. I don't know. Sometimes. But see, she's all... That's what she looks like underneath. For those that missed it. Hey, Miss Marilyn. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for saying that, Miss Bridget. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. So, I will be on on Sunday morning. And your the dog bumped your hand. <laughs> no. Oh, no. That's okay. Thank you so much for everybody coming here. Thank you, Sherry, for coming on, too. And Miss Lee, thank you for coming on. I appreciate that. Thank you for the hearts, everybody. Miss Margaret, thank you, Darlene. So enjoyed it. Thank you. Hey, Brittany. So, um, I will be on on Sunday. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do yet. I'm probably going to start some Christmas crafts soon. I was going to try to do another fall one. I'm not really sure. So, I guess you'll have to tune in to see. And tomorrow, I want to go to an estate sale. And I probably will uh, either video or take some pictures there. I'm not sure if I'll go live because there's so many people in and out in an estate sale that it's kind of hard to do that. Thank you, Miss Gracie. Thank you, Lorna. So I appreciate everybody for being here, and I will see you on Sunday morning at 10 a.m., and we'll do something cute again. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for coming on. Bye-bye.